Hey, in today's GIMP tutorial, I'm going to show you some advanced techniques. At this current time, I have found nowhere on the internet how to generate randomly cracks and ridges for applying to photos. So in this tutorial, I'm going to reveal to you my four best methods for generating random cracks and ridges. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with a blank canvas here. And for our first cracked effect, we're going to go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Difference Clouds. Let's seed this a couple times and click OK. Go back to Filters, to Distorts, Mosaic. OK, now the clouds are going to make the mosaic polygons jagged in different ways for our randomness change these settings as you see fit. I'm going to turn the tile neatness on this down some here and click OK. Alright, let's go to filters again. Distorts. Emboss. This is going to really define that jagged look that the mosaic put on. Adjust the settings how you like and click OK. Last, go to colors and threshold. I'm going to move the threshold almost all the way down. You set it how you see fit and click OK. And here we have our first cracked glass effect. Glass that cracks in this way can be found on car door windows and inside office buildings. Glass that cracks in this way is generally designed to prevent people from getting cut by handling the glass. Let's create a new layer and go to our next effect. Create your new layer with a white background. Okay. Go to Filters. Render. Clouds. Plasma, click OK, back to Filters, Artistic, Cubism, you can change these settings as you need, click OK, back to Filters, Edge Detect, click Edge, click OK, go to Colors, Threshold, and address the threshold as you see fit. Now these cracks here look like they would be really good for a dry surface, like a brick wall or dry earth. Remember you have to use your imagination and look at examples of what you're trying to recreate. Okay, let's go on to the next crack method. This time we want to create a new layer with a black background. So to get that I choose four color. Click OK. Go to Filters, Render, Lava. Now by adjusting the size and roughness of lava, you can get effects that range from looking like the roots of trees to old, cracked, and worn. The default settings here will get you something that looks like roots of trees when we're finished, but I'm going to turn these up to try and get a good cracked effect. Click OK. Make sure you have the lava layer selected. Go to Colors, Threshold. And here's a different kind of cracked look. This is a more natural looking crack, perhaps like tree bark or maybe like brain matter tissue. I'm sure some of you with a strong imagination out there can find a way to put this to good use. You're going to want to finish by merging this new lava layer down to the black one we created. And let's continue on to the last crack effect. Create a new layer. Make this one with a background of white again. Go to filters. Render. Line Nova. Now this crack effect is just one step. You want to play with these numbers until you get the effect just the way you like. You can create cracks of a lot of different sizes and varieties with these controls. I've already got these set to where I want, so I'm going to click OK. And here you can see is an excellent crack for something like a car front windshield, or say if a baseball hit the neighbor's window, or possibly even be used for something like an explosion. These here are the four best ways I know how to generate random looking cracks in GIMP. I hope you've enjoyed this and have fun making your cracked photos. Thanks for watching. PenguinTutorials.com